Hello there YouTube, Joel from Jonesy's and today is an exciting day. It's going to be part one of our Land Rover Defender 90 LS NV4500 swap. So stick around to hear about those details next. A uh, customer reached out to me. Um, he kind of got in over his head on this, uh, on this project. Um, he realized that it, uh, it was a little bit, a little bit too technical for his, uh, at home shop abilities. And so he, uh, opted to completely change gears and repower this, uh, Land Rover Defender. Um, and so you can see it kind of came to us. It's kind of a basket case. Um, it had the original Land Rover engine and five speed transmission in it. Um, and kind of a long story, but, uh, this, this uh, vehicle was imported from Greece, so it's kind of got a cool story, cool history to it. Um, and now we are uh, repowering it, like I said, with a uh, all aluminum block 6.2 liter LS. Came out of a 2012 Cadillac Escalade, as well as an NV4500. You can see the... The bell housing, we sell this whole NV4500 conversion kit for these LSs as well as standalone harnesses um, for the DIY guys. So we're using that along with the original Rover transfer case, um, adapter for the NV4500 and the Rover um, <clears throat> case was supplied by RW Engineering out of California. It's kind of their specialty. You can see the shift tower for the NV4500 is right in the existing hole. Um, this rover is in pretty rough shape. It was a non-runner uh, when we got it. And uh, like I said, the owner struggled to try to try to salvage some of the original stuff and then just decided to reboot and uh, brought it to us. So we, uh, we called up, uh, like I said, RW Engineering. They provided us with the uh, conversion engine mounts, nice pieces there. We just have them tacked uh, in position right now. And uh, overall engine placement itself is about two and a quarter inches rearward from the normal stock Rover uh, engine perch location. So you can maybe get, get a detail of how those work. And then, like I said, we just have those tacked in because we're, we're doing a full mock-up on this one. Um, it's going to be completely gutted. Body will come off of the chassis. Chassis will get all cleaned up and uh, we will build it uh, to a much higher, higher standard than its current condition. All new wiring harness, new custom gauges, uh, the works. Um, what we're currently working on right now, continuing on with mock-up stuff, is also provided by RW Engineering, is a power steering relocation uh, bracket kit. So we got that stuff laid out on the bench. And that will reposition the power steering pump above the factory rover box. Um, hoping to do a mechanical fan, um, but again, we're still in mock-up stages. We'll have to get everything kind of tacked in place and fitted uh, to see where it's at. But as it stands right now, like I mentioned, engine is scooted back, transfer case I should say, is scooted back about two and a quarter inches from the factory location, um, which should, in theory, give us enough room for a mechanical fan and also, like you saw, allowed for the uh, shift linkage to come up through the appropriate hole. So, anyway, if you guys uh, enjoy these videos and want to see more, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching.